What's up guys, we are back and today we're talking about how to do derby style right. What's up guys, welcome back to Jen's Lounge. As you know, we have been off for a while. Our office got broken into, they stole a lot of our equipment. So if the audio in this is a little subpar, please give us a little bit of a break. We're using a different mic than normal, so we're testing some things out until our new mics come in the mail. But today we are going to talk about the Kentucky Derby and derby style in general. So you don't have to be in Kentucky to wear derby style, but anywhere you are watching the derby, I encourage you to dress up yes. and do derby style right. So for this video, we teamed up with our friends over at the Thai Bar to talk about how to do derby style right. And really there are four things you wanna focus on to make sure you get the perfect style for derby day. Yes guys, there's fabrics, style, accessories, and lastly shoes. Right guys, so first of all, you wanna make sure your fabrics are on point for Derby Day. So it's going to be very, very hot. So you're gonna want something light for your suit. You want linen, seersucker, cotton, cotton linen blends, something light, something breathable, something you're not gonna have sweat stains through. Yes, I mean, the two best ones are gonna be linen and seersucker, because those are made specifically for warmer times. Exactly. Now, Derby style is all about going bold. So everyone thinks, you know, you throw in a bunch of mismassing stuff and you look derby style. No, I mean, but going bold doesn't mean like being super loud and obnoxious. It just means that it's time to like, you could go above and beyond the norm. So add a few extra accessories, do a little more, um, play with colors a little bit. But for my look today, I wanted to do something bold, but a little bit more subtle. So I went with the big window pane. This is probably the boldest piece is. is the double breasted. But then I went with kind of a, a check shirt, which is, white, mostly white, so it's still kind of light and airy and doesn't super, super contrast, but then there's a little bit of the blue check in there. And then I just played with, you know, the pinks in the jacket, had a little color coordination going, so all the pattern mixing still kind of worked together, and just a subtle white pop to set off the pocket square. Um, I do think that this is a good way to start derby style because you don't have to mix like greens and blues and all these different colors. No. If you have one really, really bold piece, that's gonna make the statement and you just kinda accessorize around it. So the statement piece was the jacket. You can make it your tie, you can make it your shirt, you can make it your pocket square, but try to keep one thing super bold and then get progressively less bold. Yes, so now leading into my outfit, I kinda went off of what George is saying right there. I went with a bold jacket. So this is, it's very bold. In, in, so it's very bold in that it's a maroon color or burgundy, however you want to call it. But it is linen, it's very lightweight. It's really tailored, but I kept the outfit very simple because I used a white dress shirt and then I used a tie that's, I mean, it has a, some design on it. It pops. It has some design, some pop. It's sick, guys. It's one of, one of my favorite ties at the moment. But um, the pocket square also blue, very simple, very casual, yet I'm not underdressed for a derby. Right. You know, I mean, if I throw a nice boulder hat on top, then I'm like going a little, little bit more over the edge. All right guys, so number three on the list, accessories. Now these are gonna be very, very important because they're little pops and they're not very expensive that you can kind of go a little overboard and spend some money to over accessorize and make a little derby statement. So luckily for us, the tie bar was nice enough to provide us with ties, tie bars, shirts, and pocket squares all for this video. So if you like any of these, we'll have a link to them down below. You can check out our specific style page where you can click and buy any of these items that, that we are wearing yeah. right now. It's also great because you know the tie bar doesn't, they don't charge an arm and a leg for each piece. So I think the tie is like $19. Yeah. The tie bars are 15 bucks. And like a pocket square, I think is around 10 or $15. So it's like, if you do wanna have that bold piece and you don't wanna spend an arm and a leg to. At 19 bucks, we can wear these ties once or twice and still feel like we got our money's worth, which yeah. is kind of honestly the best thing about the tie bar is the quality is on point. Like you can't, you'll never find a $19 tie that looks this good, I guarantee. And if you don't believe us guys, go to any GQ magazine and look at where their accessories are from and the outfits they put together. 65% of the time there's a tie bar accessory in the look. And guys, I know most of you wouldn't consider a dress shirt an accessory necessarily, but if you're not gonna go bold with the suit and spend you know, the 300, 400 to get a bold seersucker or plaid suit that you're only gonna wear you know, a few times a year because you know, it's really making a statement. Or once. Yeah, exactly. You can accessorize with your dress shirt. So that's where you can 
make a statement with the patterns, the colors, if you want to. Now Blake and I went super conservative because we wanted to have a little fun with the suits and the ties and the pocket squares. So, but I mean, you could easily go with a turquoise shirt if you're gonna go conservative with the, with the suit. Exactly. I mean, and, and the, the tie bar has all that. So that's the great thing about them. They're pretty much turning into a- uh, Full service. Yeah, full service. You, you, can, you can get now dress pants, dress shirt, tie bar, ties. I mean, all the accessories are, are already on the website. Exactly, these shirts are only $55, guys. It's, honestly, when I put it on, it fit like a glove. I mean, it's a great deal. I think I told my dad about them and he ended up like buying three shirts because I think it was 140 bucks for- For three? Yeah, you get three of them, 140 bucks. So it's not a bad deal, guys. I mean, take a look. I guarantee you're gonna love the quality. Exactly. Once again, we'll have a link to all the stuff we're wearing down below so you guys can check it out in the link. And last but not least, guys, the shoes for derby style. Now, once again, you can go a little bold, but I wouldn't go so bold as like, like super, super contrasting leathers, like no, black no. and white saddle shoes. I think that's, that's too much. I mean, it's not a circus, so you still wanna go, I mean, you still wanna wear the appropriate shoes because you're gonna wear them all freaking day. Yeah. But then you do wanna have a little fun with it. I think I mentioned that I wore two-tone brogues. Yeah. Mine are a little bit like on the- But it's brown on brown. Brown on brown, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not, not like black and white yes, and yes. red and blue, like. No, 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 it's, it's still very subtle, but with the right pop. I think. Exactly. And I mean, I went with actually suede tassel loafers because, you know, you get a little bit of the texture with the suede. It's still navy blue and very subtle, but the details up close, there's a little bit of texture that adds yeah. a little boldness to it. So you don't have to go super, super crazy, but, you know, a little extra details like the tassels on the loafers or the suede or little textural leather or something will make a statement without punching anybody in the face, yes. if you know what I'm saying. All right guys, that pretty much wraps it up, but we have one more surprise for you before we go. So we put a little lookbook together of us wearing these outfits so you can see how they look, how they move, but we also put together a second look each so you get to check out what a second look of derby style would look like from each of us if there was two days to attend a derby. Right. All right guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. I hope you enjoyed the lookbook. Please leave a comment below on who you think wore it best or which outfit you liked best from each of us. Uh, we really appreciate it. Be sure to like this video, subscribe. We are trying to make it to 100K still, even though we took a month off because we got broken into, but we are back. We're gonna put videos out three days a week from now on, so hit that subscribe button, give us that little bell notch, and Thank you to the Tie Bar for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check them out if you liked any of the accessories we are wearing today or these nice dress shirts. And once again, we'll have a link to everything down below. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, guys. Cheers.